Hello everyone, Matt here again for another one. This video is going to be all about the middle area of my garden. After the harsh winter we had, it destroyed all the plants in the middle of the garden. As you can see, I've moved my tree fern, which was original there, over to here, simply because the fronds were overhanging and getting battered. Here in the middle, it's really took my fats here and the fatsy spiders went back to the ground. Uh, I lost quite a bit in here, I lost all sorts, can't remember everything what I, I lost, but everything's been hit. Right, so my aim here is to get it all sorted out and bring a load of new fresh plants in, move everything about because plants all grow different heights. And the other one is now, because I moved my tree fern over, I just need to work out what plants are going to put where. Right, a beautiful another sunny day. About time I got this middle bed sorted out. Been dying for it. Now you can see everything's all, I know where everything is now. Everything's started to grow up. You can see where my grasses are now, my hostas. As I said before, now we can see where everything is. That's it now, I'm gonna move my hostas over underneath the tree fern, because when I water the tree fern, obviously tree ferns need a lot of water. It's all gonna come down, right down the trunk, and then the hostas, which will be underneath, are gonna love it, because they like being wet, does make sense. Plus the tree fern, hopefully when all the fronts come out, they're gonna help protect and shade the um, hostas just underneath. Next thing we're going to have to move is here, is the Persicaria because that's just going to ramble everywhere so It's going to get that up now, take it all up re uh, propagate it all, see where it goes Here we are Tree fern dug out Look at that, all, all them roots that have grown on that I think it's been in two years now So once it's in the ground, they actually do root into the ground so just pegged it in to support it and then the other side dug up the osters bit more propagation here gonna cut them straight down there and then as you can see straight through nice good clean cut and then plenty more free plants that's what this channel is all about propagation and getting somewhere Talk about propagation, if anybody watched my previous videos a while ago we propagated a load of uh, the festukas and the, uh, what other, which one of them was it now, the black mondo grass, which I will show you in a second in a little bit, and they get that into the ground. There's the festukas and here comes the uh, black mondo grass, so it was just in about two seconds ago. I overdid these in the garage if anyone remembers uh, the video. And now I've got, oh, I've got loads of them. I've got 20, 30 of them, all rooted, nicely rooted. Put the roots on them, gonna get all them now, all dotted about. And here we are, all planted up. All that's left to do now is get a nice good bit of blood fishing bone on it, some chicken manure, and top dress it with some nice bark, so that'll just keep all the moisture into the ground. Oh, another one for you, some more lights from Lights for Fun, they're the ones that all just go around it, solar lights, let's see what they look like when you get them out of the box. Just tip it up. Yeah, exactly what I thought. Nice bit of string light. So I'll get them all around and then I'll show you what it's all about. Here we are, finally done. I'll shut up now and then you can just see the uh, progress I've made. Hope you've all enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and watch it to the end.